Shalom. Hello everyone. Welcome to our video series on learning catechism lessons for class 11. Today we shall study the lesson Jesus Christ the perfection of humanity in this lesson we shall make an attempt to study the great mystery of Jesus Christ as God and Jesus Christ as human being this lesson we shall study in two parts part one we shall see of Jesus Christ and his relation to man the image of Jesus to man and in the second part we shall study about our Christian existence the qualities of being a good Christian the Christian religion teaches that man is inseparably related to Jesus Christ and that the perfection of humanness is seen in Jesus Christ Jesus Christ and man Christ who was born from the Father from all eternity and who is the only Son and God took the form of man in the fullness of time the Son of God Jesus Christ took birth from the Virgin Mary the Gospel of John chapter 1 verses 14 says the Gospel of John chapter 1 verse 14 says and the word became flesh and dwelt amongst us since the Son of God the Word became man he is at the same time God and man God through receiving the marrow and body mankind obtained a new state of being and order mankind was sanctified renewed and saved through Jesus Christ mankind was raised to the right hand side of the Heavenly Father through the ascension of Jesus the relationship between Jesus Christ and man does not begin in incarnation but started at the time of creation it is a common theological approach that God is the creator of everything the Son is the Savior and God the Holy Spirit sanctifies and perfects all things the common approach of the Eastern churches is that all persons of the Holy Trinity are related to each other in the activities of creation redemption and completion hence the Eastern churches see with greater importance the special intervention of Jesus Christ in creation redemption and sanctification the explanation of the fathers of the Eastern churches is that God gave to the first man the face of Jesus who is to be born man in short we could understand that man received his form and image from the form and image of Jesus who has incarnated and hence man is indebted to Jesus for his form and image but Jesus made it clear that he has the form 
an image of his father. In the Gospel of St. John, chapter 14, verses 8 to 9, when the disciples asked Jesus, Show us the Father and we will be satisfied. Jesus said, Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. In the Gospel of St. John, chapter 14, verses 6. In the Gospel of St. John, chapter 14, verse 6. Jesus says, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Thus Jesus made it very clear that the only way of seeing and hearing the Father is Jesus and no one else because he has the form of the Father. Mankind is basically related to God the Father and the Holy Spirit only through Jesus. However, man is indebted to Jesus not only as the creator of humankind but also as its redeemer. According to the will of the Father, the Son created man and made him dwell in paradise. But having sinned and worked against the will of God, falling into the temptation of the devil, man lost the grace of God or the presence of the Holy Spirit. Having seen the unfortunate state of man who was caught in the darkness of sin, the Son of God himself, who has formed man with his own hands, became man and constituted a scheme for man's salvation. Jesus, who became man through his life, was sanctifying mankind. As the Lamb of God, he took upon himself the whole sin of the world, and having poured out his blood on the cross, he offered the sacrifice of atonement for sin. Thus, he saved mankind and gave us back the Holy Spirit, whom we lost in the paradise. He gave us the Holy Spirit on the day of Pentecost. Hence, as the Redeemer of mankind and as Creator of man, man is related to Jesus Christ. Stay tuned for more upcoming lessons. Shalom. Bye. See you in the next class.